Hello and welcome, uh, and thanks for clicking on the link to this video, looking at something simple yet so critical, reconciling your bank account uh, in QuickBooks. And so it's one of the backbones of QuickBooks, I would argue. Uh, basically, you're a small business, uh, you get the bank statement for the previous months, you know, all the transactions that you put into the bank there, and you want it to match your you know, checking account or operating account in QuickBooks. You want to reconcile the statement to that. And a lot of things can happen with this, but let's look at just, you know, it's critical, how to do it, and then also what happens when someone voids something or deletes something, then how do you rectify that using the reports. Now, you can either go to Banking Reconcile. If you're not in an Accountant Edition, obviously if you are, it's in the Accountant Center, I can just go ahead and click Reconcile, or from the home page, I can go ahead and click Reconcile. All right, so it's a backbone of QuickBooks. Now, um, the next date, the statement date is 11-30-2011. That's the, the date of the bank statement I'm holding for my small business. Here was the balance as of 10-31-2011, the last time I reconciled and cleared that with my bank, just made, matching what the statement says with my register as of a certain day in QuickBooks. Now the ending balance is 167442.42. So I would do what, about 43 and change thousand uh, dollars of transactional or activity. Service charges, interest earned, here's where you can put it. You click continue. All right, and then I love this one up here, hide transactions after the statement's ending date. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to uncheck, unmark all for right now. So here are all the transactions from November 1st through the 30th, so up to the statement ending date. Notice the difference here between the cleared balance from the reconcile I did on 1031 to the new ending balance I have put in from my bank statement is 43439. So this is kind of my increase in the transactional activity. I want to make sure if, if it's low or if it's not matching, you know, you got to enter the transactions. But you, hopefully you downloaded through online banking. They're all there. Now I'm going to mark them all because they match what I have on my statement. And now the difference is zero. Do not let QuickBooks adjust for the difference. If there's a difference, find out why. Enter the check or, or the bill or what have you. Very important. I'm going to go ahead and click Reconcile Now. In my new ending balance, I'll go ahead and click Close. Some good reports there. We'll get more to that later. If I go back to the Accountant Center and click Refresh, my new reconciled balance is 167.442.42. And then, of course, I have a current balance up through it. But this is through November 30th, 2011. Okay, so that's why it's so critical to have your current reconciliations with what you have with the bank statement. And a big back backbone for QuickBooks would be bank reconciliation. Now what happens though, if I go to Reports Banking, I'm going to look at Previous Reconciliation, and I'm going to run the one for the uh, November 30, but I'm going to do the QuickBooks report, not the PDF. Let's say this check here for CDR Reclassify, somebody, it's already cleared, right, and the register would have a checkbox and clear column, but you don't want to reconcile them there, you want to use a reconciliation module, but still. Someone goes and clicks Control D and deletes it. This then throws off my beginning bank balance by, you know, $100. So if I go to uh, the Accountant Center and click Refresh so you can see it here, notice now my balance is 167542.42, and they'll say when they go to reconcile that it's wrong. I'll click Reconcile and say, wait a minute, it was 442. Well, what's going on here? So what I want to do is go ahead and first find what the problem was. In this case, it was a uh, check, so banking, reconciliation discrepancy for the checking account. And it was this check, right? But it's gone. So I want to go ahead and replace this check. I think it was November 1st, CDR reclassify. Yeah, and we'll go back to November 1st. So put it back in. And $100, click Save and Close. And then go re-reconcile that particular month. So I'm going to click Reconcile. I'm going to put in 1130. And I'm going to put in 167442.4. 4-2, click continue, and again, hide transactions after the statement end date, check off the check I just put back in, difference is zero, reconcile now. And now it's back to what it was, and that's just solving for a typical issue you'll have when you void or delete things that are already clear to reconcile. And now I click refresh, it's back to 167.442.42, and next month, you know, when I get my December statement, I'll go ahead and do that one and make sure what I have at my bank matches what I have in QuickBooks. Hope that was helpful. Have a great day.